Hello there guys, welcome to this amazing Wix tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a sort system that allows you to sort by popularity. So what happens is when you choose an option, let's say most popular, it's going to show you the item that is that has more views or has been viewed the most. And then it's going to show you the ones that have been viewed the less. And here when you choose the less popular, it's going to show you the item that are least viewed and then when you scroll down it's going to show the items that are most or more have more views okay so before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also give this video a thumbs up i'm going to be releasing awesome videos like this so also turn on your notifications to be the first to know when awesome videos like these come up all right so before we get started i would like to actually add a disclaimer here that before you can watch or use this tutorial you need to watch my other video on how to add a, a view counter into your dynamic page so i added that tutorial before and here you can see let's just have a quick look at it here you can see we have 36 views and when i open up this dynamic content you can see now we have 37 views and when i go back to the other page you can see that we have 37 views and also i have another tutorial that shows you how to display this view counter on your wix repeater now you can see displayed nicely instead of using a data set i've added a simple code that allows you to simply dis display your item on your wix repeater so do have to check that out before we can move on to the popularity sort all right so let's get started the first thing we want to do is to add a sort item or a an element that allows you to sort and that element is a drop down so we're going to go over to the input and we're going to add our drop down over here i'm going to choose this drop down element so now we have this drop down that looks similar to this one and the next thing we want to do is to change the placeholder text and also to change the options so the placeholder text here is sort by popularity i'm going to go ahead to change it right over here so i'm going to change it to sort by popularity all right so now we're done with that i'm going to go ahead to resize that a little bit so that it doesn't occupy the entire space and that looks okay and then we're going to i'm going to go ahead to add the values of these items here so now we have the options uh we have most popular and less popular so i'm going to go ahead to add those ones here i only have two options i'm going to go ahead to delete the extras and here i'm going to add most popular and finally i have the less popular okay now this is supposed to have um, two options we have the label and we have the value but when your dev mode is turned off you are only able to change the label but the good thing is when you turn on your dev mode again you're going to notice that the value section has been automatically populated and that is exactly what we want now it's also going to open up a code panel for you and this is the code that i've added that allows you to display the uh, view counter on your repeater and this is where we're going to add the code to actually sort our repeater and here we're going to start writing the code the first thing we need to do is to import Wix data. So we're going to go ahead to import Wix data because we're actually going to make use of the Wix data or the data from our database. And here, the first thing that we're going to do again is to add an unchange event to our drop down element. So click on your drop down element over here. And the ID is called drop down one. But I want to change this to popularity drop down. So here, I'm going to change that to drop down, popularity drop down. How do you spell that there? Okay. So, and now we're going to add an unchange function to it. So here, I'm going to change this to popularity drop down dot unchange. And then we have the arrow function. Sorry, we have this. And then we need to also declare a variable and the variable is going to hold the value of our popularity drop down so i want to call the variable sort drop and i want to assign this variable to the value of my popularity drop down so this is how it looks like now we're almost done now the next part is to add a conditional function that indicates if the user chooses most popular for example the user chooses the first option then what are we going to do so here i'm going to go to this section and say if 
our sort drop which is the value if the user chooses the value i'm gonna go ahead to copy the value of the first option so copy this i just copy that and then you're gonna paste it right here so if the value that was selected is most popular then we want our data set and our data set over here the id is called dynamic data set so go back into your code and they're going to copy this id and place it here we want to use our data set to set a sort and in that case we want to also use the wix data to also sort this item in either ascending or descending order now descending means that we are going from the highest to the lowest and that is what this actually does so we're going from the highest which is 1 billion and you have 1 million we have 50k 1k 500 up to 37 and that is descending and the less popular which is ascending we're going from the lowest to the highest so we're going from the lowest views to the highest views so our first, first option, if the user chooses most popular, we want to use the descending. And the field that we want to use that descending function on is the page view. So we're going to go to our database to get the field key of our field that saves the views, which is right here. So click on this and then get the field key, which is called page view. And you can go back to your code and then place in the code here now this should be able to work already but we're going to add one last piece of the code so else if the user chooses something else and since we only have two options that means we only need to use else we don't need to use the else if and then declare what option the user chose so if the user chose something else in this case we are assuming the user chose uh, less popular okay if they chose the less popular option then we want to copy this section but instead of it to use the descending we want it to use the ascending instead okay so now this is all set we're ready to test this out let's test to see if this works so let's preview our code and let's give this a test drive okay now we have this sort of popularity the first option is most popular before we do that i'm going to show you how these items are displayed they are displayed randomly and that is a good thing because now we're going to use the most popular and you can see that the item has been sorted by the highest and then we have 1 million we have 50k it keeps going down descending and descending to the lowest and uh, when we choose the less popular is going to go from the lowest one to the highest and it's going to keep increasing increasing and until we get to the highest number of views so this is how you add a popularity drop down into your weeks for your weeks repeater so if you do enjoy this tutorial do it to check out other videos like this and also turn on your bell notifications to be notified of future videos that are these amazing and you can use for free i have provided the link to this code in the description below do well to check it out so thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial